just want to show you what I did with my uh, push a box, which I have the Gorilla push a box. It's uh, close to two hundred dollars, and uh, I'm just gonna give you uh, some ideas of what I've done. This is the side of it. Let me get this out the way. Okay, this is it, right? Regular push a box. The back. I like it because it's very well made and uh, I've had it for going on two years and I've used it a lot. Uh, uh, but this is what I did. When I got the box, it came well, in that box right there. That's the box it came in. But uh, it, I did this. Let me show you. Let me spin this around. Okay, this goes down, take the easel, I mean the canvas off, alright, then you can take this and you can loosen this up and this will go all the way flat like this. Then this is where you rest the canvas on, right, this part here, and take this out and you can take this and flip this open. See? Now you have space to. So they sell on uh, Amazon, they sell this palette that you can use it on the Gorilla Box, Gorilla Poche Box. It comes with the palette, then it comes with the little blocks and the screws that I screwed in. So now I can take my palette with paint on it, put it this way, and Put that away in there and take my uh, cover here and close it and you see then um, like that okay hold up you see so they sell that on Amazon so I got that then you can get uh, this part. Uh, the attachment, uh, it's, uh, get this in Amazon also, it's to, for more space, it comes with this, and it comes with the hinges and the screws, and some paper templates for where you gotta make the holes. So I got that, then I took a regular, um, zip, uh, zip ties, uh, what, what do you call those, zip ties that, yeah, zip ties, this, All right? And I bend them that way for I can rest my brushes so they won't roll. You see? And then I took some of that uh, uh, stuff that they use for the windows. It has uh, adhesive in one side. They're like long, thin strips of uh, this, I don't know what they call this, styrofoam? Yes, yeah, some real, they look like this. You see, and you peel them off and you can stick them on. So I got that and I put that down and I, my finger, I made these, took some of those uh, foam, took it off so I can have these little spots that way my brush would just sit right in them. And then that, I did that. Then you have the piece where it can rest like that, like that you see All right but let me show you what else I did then I noticed that the palette would um, let me see this one yeah this is the palette this is the palette the pieces that come with that palette has these little cutouts where you can put the uh, palette in and uh, the paint won't get all over the place and uh, you see how well when I put that in there it doesn't move so you can transport your paint anywhere and it's not going to move and then when you take it out you got your paint but look what I did this is the good part Okay, 
this is going to be the good part that no one has done. So when you get this palette, right, you're supposed to use it like lay it, hold it in your in your hand, or put it down here. But the problem is when you when I had it up here when I would mix my paint, it would slide all over the place. So if you look underneath here. It has the, these rails, right, like a box. So what I did, I uh, measured the box, right? Got the distance from here to here, right? From here to here. And I took little pieces of the, you know, the canvas, the stretchers, the wooden stretchers. I cut a little piece of, pieces of wood the stretcher stretcher bars this is done right here right and uh, I took the measurements of the square and then I marked the square underneath the wooden palette that way I know where I have to put the little corner little wooden pieces so now when I lay the palette down it kind of locks itself you see it locks itself but it won't go anywhere. I can lock it that way or lock it this way. See? So now it's locked in there. You see, it doesn't go. And I can go this way, go that way. And um, so I think that's pretty cool. And I could also switch it this way if I want. And then let me tell you something else that I noticed but I'm by doing this. I was thinking about putting, um, I can also have it this way, right? Well, I can put it this way and put the little jaw of turpenoid, right? Lock it in and lay, rest, rest the little jar in here and I can get the turpenoid through in here. And you, you see what I mean? So they have these little metal, where are they? I was going to do that, I was going to set that up with a, maybe with a, like this, let me see, I could have probably taken it and taken this part and find out exactly put that right there I could have probably got a, a magnet underneath here a piece of metal there and it would just stay right there then when I put this on top I got my turpenoid right there that way I can take advantage of that hole or better yet I can probably uh, find a uh, a medicine bottle some plastic medicine bottle that it will have that something similar to that shape and cut it that it will just slide right in there and it will level out to the top of the hole here that it will be something like this you see oh there goes the, the one I use so I will put that there so I would put this here, like that. Let me get this one. Get this out. So I would take this and put this here, like that. And that's how I uh, use this unit. And then I made, uh, they had the, the thing for the brushes. So they have the, I made my own, they had, they sell them on uh, Amazon. So I took the little tubes from aluminum foil, when you buy aluminum foil, they have these real thick tubes. So I put them together, glued them together like this. Then I took a flat piece of board, glued that along the middle to make it 
to give it some uh, strength. Then I put another one this way. Then I took a piece of metal and bend it this way. Then I took another piece of board and glued it underneath to cover the hose. And then with the metal bracket, I can just now lock it like that. And I can put my brushes. You see? I can put it this way, I can put it over here. So I have a place to put my brushes. And so let me show you how, how I made it again. If you can see if you can make your own. So you get the tubes. Uh, let me see if I have some empty tubes over here to show you how they look. Uh, do I have any around here? Well, there, there are tubes, like uh, toilet paper tubes, the cardboard ones, but you don't want to use those because those are too thin. You want to get the real thick ones that you get from the dollar store. They have these real strong, thick ones. So you put them together and you glue them together. Then you get yourself a piece of board. Let me find a piece of board here to give you an idea. Uh, you can find the, uh, you know the, the, the wood stirrers that they sell in the hardware store? You can get one of those. Something like this. Alright. And you glue it there like that. Then you cut another, cut another square piece and you put it there. And then the one over here. And the one that you put here is very important because that's where you're going to put that metal piece. Oh, and the metal piece, it's going to, you're going to bend it, then you're going to bend this way, this way, and then you're going to bend it again. In other words, it's going to hook onto the little piece of board. And it's going to go right through the center, between the center of these tubes. You see the way I have it in there? There you can see that from there you can also see a little bit of it. So that hooks onto the side of the paint box. And then instead of paying twenty dollars for the one that they sell, you can basically have this one. And you can get your brushes out the way when you go out and paint. What I could have done was, um, I could have taken this and if I would have had an extra of the same tube, I could have made a, that way I can close them in there when I travel. You know, and then I can just, another, another part that would just, you know, So that's my setup. Let me get that out of the way. Then I stuck a magnet here for my palette knife. And, uh, excuse me. And then when I want to paint, the brushes won't roll off. I got this, then it has the area to put the brushes standing up. I want to do that, which I never do. And that's it. And this part here, for my brushes, it hangs right near the... That's it. Up in there, it won't move. You see? These are for studies. This, when you go out and you're gonna do study, I recommend getting the small tubes or get the tubes of paint that are halfway full 
you can roll them up and use those. And uh, what else? What else I can do with this? That's basically it. I've done everything I can do to this uh, unit here. I got the pallet. I added the extension. I think, I wonder if they have another ex one of these that I can put. They probably do, but I'm not. Doesn't make sense me putting it. And uh, I can, when I'm done, I put the pallet in here. And the paint stays on the pallet without making a mess. Uh, and that's about it. Use a regular tripod from uh, thrift store, second hand store. I usually have some you can buy. And um, it's very well made, very. What I do want to get is the leather straps that go on this unit, but they I find it too good, I find it too expensive now. If they would probably go down to like 10, 12, I would probably get them, I think they're 16 bucks now. I find that too expensive for regular straps. And I have the regular ones that, that, I, that you can get from uh, regular bags and use it here. I can put the paint like this. Then I glued here uh, a value scale. And uh, I don't know why the hell I put that there, but, but it works out pretty good. There's no problems with it. I like the way I'm able to just take this and put it away and then this I can just you know like this part also that it has um, this is a very well made box and, and you know what's the funny thing from all the box that I've seen in the market this is the best one I've seen the expensive ones with the drawers in the middle and but no this is like the one that it's well made it's got these hinges here. You can put your palette in here. You can put your brushes across this way. And um, the, the only problem with this is that it, uh, it's not big enough for me to put my brushes in there. I don't know if I can put them. No, it's no other way. Unless you put them like that here. You can do that. Put your paints up here. And um, something like that. And grab this and put your brushes in. You can, you can do that. This is a size medium. And you can still get the paints alongside. You know what you need. Which basically you never want to take too many colors with you anyway, and then that's it. That's why this one you can lift it up. You can take this part out. That way you can put your the brushes in there. That's it. But um, so you can put everything in there. You can even get the brushes in there. And get your brushes in there. Put this over here. Then you can put your palette in here. It's well made. Leather. Good snaps. Aluminum. I tell you, this is the best Porsche box out there. There's no better box. There is no better box than this box. I've seen them all. When I was looking to purchase a Porsche box, I mean, I really looked and I did my research and there's no better box. 
There's no battle box. Look at this. There is no freaking battle box. Where, where are you going to get this? Look at this. I'm only having one issue with the box and the panel is kind of lifting up. It was, uh, but they sell panels also. I can probably replace that panel. It's all screwed down. So they sell parts for you to, you know, if you have issues, you can buy parts and have it fixed. And I think I still have guarantee, so I should have done that. But, um... But what I did was I just put some Elmer's glue and it kind of did the job, so I didn't really bother too much with it. But uh, besides that, the box I, I, it holds up pretty pretty good. Um, I was thinking about putting some corner pieces on this thing, small little corner pieces. Uh, they even sell some, like real tiny little ones. But uh, I haven't been able to find them. They're big. And then I will have a problem with the screw. So, um, I don't know. Maybe there's something uh, that could be done. Uh, some plastics, corner plastics, real small ones. I mean, do I really need them? Let me see. When I put the, it has the legs, you really don't even need them because it never sits on the floor anyway, so. Because it has those legs underneath it. The rubber. And then it has some over here. See, so you really don't need them. There's it here. There's it here. So, yeah. Put a nice big canvas right here. Let me, uh, but now I think this is you can get this for 180 bucks, 170 bucks on Amazon. And it's gonna last you for a long time. Even if I was to sell this right now, I can probably get 150 for it. The way it is all full of paint, all painted up, I, I really don't care. It's, it's a paint box. It's not made to look pretty, you yeah. know. But um, I've taken it with me to the Metropolitan and, and I've had no problems with it. Notice right now, this paint, I'm gonna get that out because, uh, where's the palette knife? Where's the palette knife in here? But that's it, guys. If you're gonna get a push a box, and I don't work with these people. I know these people, but uh, i done my research and I checked all the boxes. Because I wanted to get something good. Then I wanted, they had the one with the drawers that come up to the bottom and the guy was like $500. I was like, are you kidding me? He wanted $500 and I was like, forget that. And then when I saw this one, I was like, whoa. And then the quality of this thing. The way this is put together. Now, if you can get the lodge, it's a little bit more money. But um, then they have another one that's a little bit more thicker. It's more higher. But this one is, uh, it's not so, you know, wide. It's more... And this one is cool, I think, uh, I forgot the name, but uh, it's more narrow, it's not as wide as the other one. And I like that this pole comes out and 
the one that's white it doesn't have the pole but it has uh, the thing that slides and you can paint on that but with this one you can add this palette part which I like then you can add this you know it's a great unit very nice unit what I have to get is a lighter tripod then you can get one of these you know like if you're painting from an image a photograph put that there You see, and you want to put your value scale up there. But a very good unit, a very good unit. And I've done a lot of mods to it. Like I said, I showed you the mod I did with the palette. That way it won't move. And I added the matnik for my palette knife. little things that make it my own and the thing to hold the brushes that was designed by me and the palette the way I put the little legs the little things in the bottom for it can just lock itself right there and take a good look at that but you can see you see the way I made the line with the pencil then I took the, um, the stretcher bus from the canvases that you buy and I cut some little squares and put them in the corner. And that way it can lock itself. It's not going to be sliding all over the place when you're painting. You want it. So it becomes like part of the unit. It kind of makes it more part of the unit. So instead of just having something, because it would have been like this, it would have been sliding, you know. It wasn't very good, you know, when it didn't have those uh, little squares that I put underneath it. But now it's, it's it locks up. It locks itself in there, and then when I'm done with it, I put, it, put the thing away, and the little squares don't get in the way with me locking the door. Okay, pretty good. Alright, so take a look at the unit, the way I made the, the brush holder. Regular tubes. From the um, aluminum foil, Reynolds wrap, or piece of wood glue in the center. The distance from the two tubes together, that gives me the measurements to cut the piece of wood for the bottom. Then another piece of wood here, and that is what the unit is going to rest on. Then a piece of metal with a pair of pliers. You continue to bend a uh, piece of metal. This was from uh, those metals that, um, this was uh, uh, one of those name, those plates that you see that has the hole in it. That it had something here, the brand of, uh, of what this has the name of the company that this was on and I bend it until I was able to get this shape. I measured the distance from here to here and that, and that way it can rest and, and I can put my brushes in there and my paint, get them out of the way. And then, and that's it. I can slide this like this and bring this up if I want. There you go. 
and then this is the zip ties. Yeah, I cut the top of the zip, zip tie off and the other end and bent the zip ties and bend them to get this M thing. Then just glued it down. That way the brushes wouldn't roll off. Because, you know, you don't want to lose brushes when you're out there. And that's it, guys. Alright? Bye-bye.